Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Getting ready to put the lock on AC Gardner's toolbox, but before I did that, I had to clean it up, and then I've got to make a key. Clean it up, I used the ultrasonic cleaner, and I tried some things. Now, since all I'm doing is cleaning the dirt out of it, I don't need to have it full concentration. So, we're going to go with a measured ounce. And that simple green all-purpose cleaner. I'm going to mix it up about one ounce to ten. Then I'm going to fill the machine. And balance out the water so that this sits on the bottom. There. I'll put the heater on. Let it warm up a bit. This is the latch plate for the toolbox. And I want to clean the dirt off of it before I put the rust remover on it. Okay, we got it warmed up. I got it turned on. Unfortunately, it didn't start recording right away, but we've been running about 30 seconds now. Set for 180, which is three minutes. Definitely getting some cleaning action out of it. Okay, it is stopped. Pick this up out of the tank. I'm going to fill this one with vinegar. Not straight vinegar. Eh, might as well. I've got plenty of straight vinegar. Fill that up till it's about even with the other one. There. Set that in the unit there. Looks like I'm gonna, this is just straight water. I'm doing that because I don't want to kill the vinegar. There we go. Now we drop it into vinegar. Ah, with the metal in it, it goes right down down to the bottom, just like I want. Now I leave it set to warm up so that the temperature in the tank comes up to about 140 degrees.
That's quite a bit better. We're going to give it another eight minutes. Twenty minutes in the simple green, half an hour in the vinegar. Simple green, ten to one, five percent acidity, apple cider, and a final coat of ultralight three thirty six. It's all cleaned up, and ready to go. Got a coat of oil on it so it won't rust. The vinegar worked really well. I didn't get the uh, gray color on it that I normally get when I use vinegar because it didn't etch it just vibrated the, the dirt and rust right off the vinegar made it loosen and then the vibration knocked it free and it's so now it's in the bottom of the vinegar bucket the vinegar loosened the rust and then the ultrasonic knocked it free and cleaned it right up looks good I kind of expected it to be dull gray in color, but it looks just like it should. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.